Hello, my name is Kishwani. This K E S H W A N I Kishwani. I have been solving math problems out of this book here, the Practicing to Take GRE General Test, tenth edition. If you're thinking about sitting for the GRE, and if you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. The problem that I'm about to solve, there are seven exams in this book. There are seven exams in this book, and uh, the problem that I'm about to solve is from the exam number one. You will find it on page number 135. QC stands for quantitative comparison. Those are the kind of questions that I'm doing right now. Quantitative comparison where you're asked to compare the two quantities. Let's take a look. Number one is what I'm doing. Very first one. It's very simple, very straightforward. Uh, not too many people had problem with it. I kept going back and forth whether or not I should do the first five. And I decided to do all of them from, the, from number one. But this is very simple. 91% of the people who took the exam got this question right. And how do I know that 91% of the people got this question right? You will find that information on page number 189. Look at section number 4. It will tell you there. Section, this is section number 4. And you will see that, uh, that the 94% got it right. It's very simple, very straightforward. Let's take a look. Uh, N plus, rather K plus N, we are told not, not that it makes any difference is 13 and we are also told that n plus 3 is 8 and the question is simply which one is bigger k or n well let's see as I said it's very very simple if n plus 3 is 8 n must be 5 n must be 5 and if n is 5 k has to be some number plus 5 equals 13, k is to be 8. 8 plus 5 is going to be 13. There we go, answer is A. That's it, we're done. It's very simple. Let's look at number 2. Number 2. Betty spent $75 for the bicycle. Alright, so she spent $75 for the bike. And she also spent $27 on repairs. Ah, so she purchased it. So altogether she spent $12. It looks like $102 she spent altogether. And then we are told that she sold it for $120. Alright. So she sold it for $120. The question simply is, we are asked to compare in, co in, co in column 1 we have, in column A we have the money Betty received in excess of the total amount she spent. In other words, the amount of profit she made. Well, she sold it for $120, she had spent $102 altogether on it, so she made a profit of $18. This is her profit. And this is our column A. And in column B we have $20. So, B is the answer, column B is bigger, that's all, that's all, I hope you found this helpful, I don't try to do the three, third, three four questions in, in, a, in a clip because then I end up rushing and it, it, it's not nice, I'd rather do it at a relaxed pace and uh, do two at a time, the easy ones and then once we get a little bit more difficult one I'll, I'll do one at a time, but anyway, I hope you found this helpful, if you wish to by the solution manuals from me for all the problems in this book, all seven, there are seven exams and uh, if you wish to purchase the solution manuals to any of these questions or if you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring, face-to-face -face tutoring, I am located in Connecticut. As I said in my previous clips, I do most of my tutoring in Connecticut and in Manhattan area, but I've gone to several other places as well. So send me an email, go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P, prep, F-O-R-4, G-R-E, Dot com, send me an email and we'll talk. Alright, thank you.